everyone welcome back once again so in this video we'll see how we can do the determination okay determination is nothing as you can see i'll show you what is exactly determination do so this is our existing app okay so i'm executing the scene data is loading so wait for some time so now let's say uh, click on first record okay so here let's say user did some changes in an existing record, let's say user is changing the currency. Okay, let's say it is USD. And I'm replacing USD with INR. Okay, so along whenever user enter this currency, so its description, I mean its description should capture automatically here like this okay here INR means it's a Indian currency okay so it it's text okay it's text should capture below this field okay it's I mean here you can see currency code is coming so currency code description should capture along with this uh, uh, along with this currency code okay so whenever user enter currency code so currency code description should capture automatically okay without entering the values manually okay so this thing we can achieve using determination okay so in previous video you learned how we can do the validation on our object page so for the same you can refer my video uh, in the playlist so in the playlist you can see here this is the video video number 13 you can refer the same to check where, how we can do the validation on object page okay so let's go back over uh, CDS and try to achieve so as you can see here so in this video we have to populate the currency text automatically okay so there is no need to enter currency code manually so user wants user will enter only currency code so on the basis of currency code currency text text should capture okay so to achieve the same uh, what we need to do first thing we require currency currency text so from where we can fetch the currency text so firstly we require a table from where we can fetch the currency okay so quickly first try to create a table for the same okay so i'll show you what type of table we have to create so let's say this is this is a existing table okay and you can see if i'll execute uh, press f8 then you can see here some fields are there sprs okay sprs is nothing you can see it's a language so it is coming as a system language e e means english language okay so on the basis of language currency code is coming i'm, I'm in, on the basis of language currency code and current its currency text is coming okay as of now we have maintained currency text in currency text in english only okay so this table this table we have to prepare okay so i can use the same but for practice i'll show you how we can create this table and how we can enter 
the data in the same table. Okay, so this is a dummy scenario. So here we are creating a currency table, but in a real world, you don't need to create a currency table. You have to refer a standard um, currency table that is called, I'll show you uh, how we can find, just go to pack, uh, I mean, go to package and here find TCU. R okay and there is a table called hmm, uh, there is a table called this is the table so this is a standard table okay so this is the standard table so normally you have to use the same but as you remember a standard table you cannot directly execute it via fit if i'll try to execute then it won't allow we don't have authorization okay so for the same we have a i mean uh, we have to call a database table always in a CDS, then only we can access. So I'll show you uh, it's CDS. So we have it CDS. I existing CDS, I currency text is there. So here you can see I currency text is there and here we are providing a select. Okay, providing a select from T30. It is a standard table. Okay, now we can execute here because we are calling this table inside a, uh, inside a view. So I'll press F8. Okay, and then now you can see there are uh, predefined currency already mean, maintained on the basis of a language, currency key, and currency name. Okay, but why I maintained, why I prepared a new table? There is a reason because here you can see we don't have a currency called USD and EUR and INR. So that's why I have created a, created my own table where, as I shown in a, where I have maintained only three entries. Okay, U, USC, INR and EUR. So as of now, I'll use the same in my program. But in a real world scenario, I mean in real time, you have to use a standard table as I showed here. That is a standard table called T -cur T T C U R T. Okay. So quickly, first we'll try to create a table. Okay, so for table, first we require oh, first we have to create a data element so how we can create the data element so go to package new other repository data element next okay so i just need to create a data element for um, currency text okay currency text currency and d d denotes means it's a data element so data element for currency okay next
finish. Okay, now uh, it's saying no DMA, no data type was defined. So uh, I have choose the category as a domain and a file type. Uh, if I'll browse, then here we have a existing domain. So I'll use the same text 40. Okay. So along with this, I'll put a description, short description. So it's a <clears throat> currency text. In short description, we can maintain a text up to, I mean, by default, 10 character. Okay. So medium, I'll put currency text. So I'll copy the same for long text and adding okay now activate my one data element is prepared to capture the text for currency now quickly create an and I'll create another element which will show the currency. Okay, so same way you need to do um, data element next. Um, y cur. D, data element for currency, next, finish, okay, so this uh, data element is uh, we'll use to save the currency code okay so here i'll not choose the existing domain here i'll choose predefined type okay after choosing i mean after choose predefined type click on browse and here you can see uh, there is a type called cu and cu ky so i'll choose the same Okay, it's length five is coming as by default. So I'll put a comment here currency as a short and same I'll copy for remaining long text and adding. Okay, and activate the same. Okay. Now, our um, data element, uh, data element uh, are ready. So now quickly, I'll try to create a table where I'll call these data element. So go to other and put table. I'll choose database table and put the table name. text a table for store currency text next finish Okay, by default, client field is coming. Client field is nothing. I mean, it denotes this table is a client dependent. Okay, 
so this is very important okay that's why it's coming as a by home by default field okay if you will not declare this field i mean if you will remove this field it means this table uh, will make as a client uh, client independent you can say but as of now it is a client dependent okay so i just need uh, sbrs okay and here we have a existing data element standard data element already there so i'll use the same sbrs means it's a language field okay so again i just need a currency code so here I'll use my own data element. So recently I created Y currency D. So I'll use the same. Okay. Then I want text. Uh, currency text. I, I just need. Okay, so recently I created a data element Y text car. Y text car. Okay. <clears throat> okay, our, our table is ready. So now what's the next step i have to call this table in a cds so that i can see its output okay so as of now you can see uh, here i mean this is a table so if i am executing the same as you can see there is no Mm, data as of now okay so i am calling this table in a cds so quickly create a cds where i'll call this table so go to new data definition and i'll create y cds currency cd cds for currency text okay finish Okay, now I'll call the same table within the CDS. So I have created this table, Y text currency. So I'll use the same as a data source name. And I'll call all fields. So you can use control space and choose insert all element okay but and also I have to put a where condition where uh, SP session Okay, so why I use this where condition? So it will fetch only the data as per the system language. So as of now, we are using system language English. So the so data will be fetched as per the system language. Okay, so that's why I put this 
we have condition activate the CDS. Now what's the next step? We have to fill this table. Okay, so how we can do? So I'll show you. So if you remember in the previous video, uh, we created a class to fill the table. So I'll use the same class. And if you remember, uh, this is the class where we are storing the data. Okay. So just open this. Okay. So now we have to We have to create a table type. Drive table of Y Y text cur. Y text bar we have created. Now we have to fill the data. So as earlier, we filled the data uh, in our image table. So we have to use the same. value hash okay so here I have to fill the field called SVRS it should be E then currency code should be I know then I just need a text so just a currency text as Indian currency okay same I just need to use another USD US dollar Euro yes pin currency okay three records ready now I have to use the delete statement as I use for image so why it is used because I mean to delete the data again and again Okay, if you will execute the same, I'm in this same program. So in the same session, it will delete the existing record and enter the new record again. Okay, if you will not write this delete statement, then you will get a dump error. Okay, so to avoid that situation, we have to use this delete statement. Okay. To refresh the existing record that's it okay so now we have to delete the data from which table this table okay now we have to insert the record 
so now i just need to insert the record in a table this from internal table rt image okay no not rt image rt car okay now I will change the message here. Data inserted successfully. Image table. Now, I again I will use the another select to show the output I mean how many record inserted so now I'll fetch the data from this table via text okay into internal table curve okay and this right tv count is nothing it will count the total number of record and out uh, hyphen right is nothing so here i'll change the message currency table okay activate Okay, so now I'm executing this class again. So go to here and go to run as and click on a web application console. Okay. Now you can see mm, three record inserted successfully in image table and in currency table. Okay, now go back to our uh, table. Uh, so recently, I mean, this CDS, uh, this CDS I created. Now I try to execute. And now you can see here, data inserted successfully. Three records inserted successfully, okay. So these three record is coming from where? From this, um, from this internal table, okay. So this is a piece of code we have to write whenever we have to insert the record in a table and this is the main interface we have to use okay and this is a, a method called main within this interface so so within this method we have to write the code to fill the data in the database table okay so now our database table is ready so what's the next step we have to uh, uh, so what's the next step? We will use this table to proceed further. Okay, so we'll use this, I mean, this text in our app. Okay, on and we'll fetch the data on the basis of a currency code from this table. Okay, so now what we'll do. Now we have to add this text field in our app. Okay, so as you can see, in our existing app, we have only currency code field. Okay, not a currency text field as you can see here. So 
we have to add a currency text field or you can see currency description field here so how we can do the same how we can achieve the same so to achieve the same just go back to our cds and expand data definition node and here you can see uh, we have this main cds okay now you can see we have only currency code field as of now okay if i'll execute the cds using f8 then you can see the data okay and here you can see currency code is coming only but we don't have a field for its description or text okay so that field we need to add within this so how we can do the same so as you can see this is the root view and here we are using a select on this table okay so just select and put a cursor on this table and press f3 then you will navigate to uh, main table and now what you need to do here we have to add one more field which will capture the currency uh, currency text okay along with the currency code so as of now we have only currency code so i'll put the field name um, currency text and it's domain uh, if you remember we have created a domain mm, so which what domain we have created why well, we can see from here as well uh, data element we have created which data element we have created uh, to store the currency text yeah y currency underscore d so i'll use the same here y currency underscore d Okay, now currency text uh, field has been added at the table level. Okay, now I'll go with the CDS. So this was the CDS where we are calling our table and we have to call the field as well within the CDS. So recently we have added this field currency text okay in this table. So why we are calling this? So to make available in our app we have to call this field within a caller cds you can see that's why we are calling here currency text okay so this is our main cds and again this cds we are calling in our projection view so we'll go to our projection view and here as well we have to call the same field so you can see currency code is there so after this i'm adding the our field currency text okay activate
Okay, at projection level, it has been added. Now we have to show this field on UI level as well. So on UI, how we can show using a metadata. So just go back to our metadata and we have to call this field to make available in our app. So this was the metadata. And here I'll add this field here. Okay, I'm just uncommenting this. We have to use this, I mean this, and uh, this field we have added. So I'll use the same. And along with this, we have to use a annotation called identification and position 30. Why we have to use identification? Because we have to use, I mean, we have to show this table within a journal, uh, within a general tab. So general tab type should be identification reference. Okay, if you remember this, uh, this thing I already showed in a previous video. So you can refer my previous video to understand this concept. Okay, so in general tab, I'll show you where is a general tab. So this is, this is our app and you can see this is the general tab and within the general tab, I have to show the currency code along with its description. Okay, that's why I'm using a notation called identification here along with this activate the same. Now, refresh of a current app. Let's see its effect. Is uh, there is some issue? I think so. Let's go back over CDS and go back over. I mean, open the behavior, and now there is some issue in behavior. Some uh, it is saying currency text field is not available in a draft table. So it is suggesting to recreate our draft table. Draft table. So just click on the same and it will show some suggestion. It is saying recreate draft table. So I'll choose the same and it will navigate to our draft table. Okay, with the updated field uh, currency text okay activate table activated check now you can see the error has been removed okay now try to refresh of our existing app. So now data is loading. Okay. So it is taking some time yeah so now you can see along with currency currency text is coming okay 
currency along with currency code currency tax currency field and currency text field is also coming okay so but its text is not coming so to achieve the same we have to write a logic within a determination of a behavior okay so just go back up a cds and this was the behavior for mean cds travel so here you have to write a um, write a, a determination so i'll write a um, determination determination for what get currency code when on save okay control space it then on save for which field mm -hmm. currency code whenever user enter currency code so its currency text uh, currency text should capture automatically so that's why i am passing a field currency code so this piece of code will trigger whenever user enter currency code okay <clears throat> activate so now it is saying currency code not implemented it is suggesting something so click on this So it will sh show some suggestion. It is saying add method. So click on the same. Now it will create a method for us automatically. Okay, now you can see method is populated automatically. Get currency code. Okay, this is the implementation and I'll show you. this is the definition so this is the definition this method is created automatically for determination at the time of save on save okay same as for validation currency code if you remember and but here we have uh, we have a keyword called for validate instead of a for determiner so that is the main difference here okay now go to its implementation and now you can see here implementation is a initial so again we have to write a code accordingly so we have to read the data first so from this table from currency table okay type so here we have to use a type table for read result okay from where from our CDS okay because we just need a result in this internal table then we have to use a read statement 
read entities of read entities of our CDS. No, not a CDS. Our behavior definition. Why CDS? Driver. Okay. In in local mode, then entity. Entity is what? Our Y C D S. Travel. So basically, it denotes the behavior. And here, entity, and along with the entity, you have to pass the CDS. In our case, we have a same name for behavior as you can see here YCDS underscore travel. That's why I choose. So don't confuse here. Okay. So this is this is a CDS name basically, and this is a behavior name. Okay. Then we have to use fields and we have to pass here key fields. Key fields we have travel UID along with travel ID. Okay, and then with corresponding hash. Then here we have to pass the keys, which is coming from where? From our uh, method. You can see this keys is coming from where? From here. This is importing from here. So this keys we are passing with our um, read statement. Then result where we want to capture the result and this okay. So here you can see here we have declared the type as a read result. Okay, to capture the result within this internal table. So we same we are passing here. Okay. So we have successfully, I mean, read the data from our behavior definition on the basis of a CDS. Okay, so now, now we have to apply a loop as I did earlier. Okay, to read the data from our current internal table loop at LTQ into data okay into data minus curve because here we are collecting the data in a uh, in Uh, in a work area. So whenever we declare internal table, we have to use a LT. Uh, always we have to start internal table with the LT or IT. And whenever we declare the work area, so we have to start work area with LS or LWA. Okay, so we are applying the loop here. So now after applying a loop, we have to fetch the data. Okay. From where? From a um, currency table. So if, if so here we'll use select single, select single from where? Uh, we created a table recently, if you remember. Uh, if you remember, so that is a table y text 
underscore underscore d okay then fields which fields we need here we need here currency text okay so we'll put a where condition where s p r a s should be equal to at the rate sai langu sai langu denotes a system language okay that's why system language is e i'm in english so it will capture automatically on the basis of our english language okay and we have to fetch another criteria on the basis of a currency code okay so currency code should be um, alaska currency code okay then we'll use into into values ls we need a currency text okay so where is the field yeah that is the field here we need a data currency text okay now we have to use a check if psi sub r c equal to zero if and if psi sub r c means whenever we receive the data i mean this select condition is uh, i mean run successfully if we if we have i mean if we found the data within a database in that case psi sub r c value would be equal to zero okay and it is mandatory to put a size of rc check after using a select statement okay that's why i written if size of rc equal to zero then what we need to do we have to modify okay so i'll use the modify modify what we have to modify this uh, of a currency from um, yeah. mm. okay Okay, now here we get the data and we have modified the internal table successfully. Now what is the next step? So next step is there. Uh, we have to update our entity. Okay, CDS entity. So what you need to do for the same? Uh, just put a... Um, just declare a update variable which has which is having a type tabular for update okay so which entity we have to update we have to update a 
our CDS from where from our Fury app okay so here we use a type called type table for update and here if you remember we use a type for read why we use because we need a um, entity I mean the CDS travel entity data in the form of a result okay within this internal table that's why we use this syntax and now we have to update this currency table okay with the c within this cds travel entity okay along with the currency code so that's why we are using the same okay so now after this we have to use a ls update okay corresponding hash corresponding is nothing it is similar to the uh, you can say uh, corresponding table internal table it's automatically arranged the column okay whatever column in our internal table so corresponding the statement does the same automatically okay so there is no need to arrange the column explicitly okay so i'll take her okay so it will automatically update the currency code within this cds uh, cds driver okay now we prepared the table uh, i mean lt update uh, okay now now we have to use a modify entity statement modify entities entities of with cds y cds driver okay in local mode then use entity again entity then I'll use uh, again CDS name. Okay, then now uh, I'll use uh, uh, entity after entity. I'll use update fields which fields I need to update I need to update a currency currency text so I'll use the same okay with LT update okay with rt update then after that we will use reported data to rt report then this modify entity will capture in this lt report then after this you have to write uh, a reported is what 
YCDS. Okay, then use corresponding hash. RLT report YCDS driver. Okay. So this is using it is using to modify records. of CDS. Okay. It is using to read. It is using to read and the Okay, activate the class. Okay, now it's done from our side. So now let's see its effect in our current app. So just go back to our current app and refresh the same. Okay, then go to our behavior definition and here we have to map our field which we have recently added. We have added a currency text. So just put the currency text here. Okay, and activate our behavior definition. If you will not do this, I mean this mapping, if you will forgot, then in that case, our field will not update. Okay, so I have activated again. Now let's try to see its effect on your app. So just go back a web the table I choose a wrong data element okay so call it the same okay so right data element was <clears throat> Activate the table. Okay. So now go back over app and see the effect. Again. Again, some error is coming in a draft. So we'll fix the same. Select this and press control one and it will suggest recreate draft table because recently we changed the structure okay of a table if you remember that's why we have to regenerate I mean we have to regenerate the draft table again. Okay, it's activated and now error remove and go back over app, try to refresh. So app is loading.
this will take some time so wait for a minute now app is loaded successfully press go button okay now select any data let's say i'm using this 3290 Now try to edit this record. Okay, now I'm replacing this currency. I mean, currency uh, USD with INR. Now, in that case, after entering INR, it's capture currency text should come here automatically okay so i just enter currency code and do the save and now you can see it stacks captures automatically so it means uh, our code is working fine as per the requirement but one thing is there uh, this field is coming as a id table so if this field is coming, I mean, this field is failing automatically. So in that case, this field should be disabled. Okay, like this, like this travel ID. Okay, so how we can do the save? I mean, how we can do the same? So just save this and go back to our uh, cds go back to the cds and go back to our behavior definition for projection and here we have to use a, a statement field, lead only, and which field we need to make a non editable. I just need a currency text field as a lead only. It means this field, uh, this field will be a um, non editable field after doing this okay now just go back our app refresh okay same thing i'll show you in the debug as well so let's put a debugger in the method so that we can see whole piece of code in debug as well so how we can put the debug just go to the go to our class and um, wherever i mean uh, uh, put the breakpoint as per your requirement i just need to need to debug this piece of code within this method so i am putting a breakpoint on line number 72 now go back up our app, press go. Now select any record. I'm choosing three to three double two eight. Okay. So same record we'll see in, a, uh, in our CDS level as well. Okay, so this is our main CDS projection. This is our main projection CDS. Okay, if I'll execute it directly from CDS view, 
so press f8 and open the cds then press f8 then you will be able to see its output okay now data is loaded here with in a cds browser now recently which field i'm going to add it uh, here you can see i'm going to add it this travel id 3228 so i'll filter it here at cds level three double two eight okay now we have one record here and as you can see here we are having only currency okay you are but currency text is blank so it should capture automatically okay from the fiori app okay so let's see so i'll try to edit this entry And now, uh, now you can see this currency text is coming as a non-editable field. Okay, so I'm replacing uh, currency code UR with USD and do the save. Okay, now you can see. Uh, on the basis of a uh, currency code, its text cap uh, captures automatically here. So now same thing we'll see at C CDS level. Okay, just refresh this entry. And now you can see, yeah, here you can see this field is modified. Okay, along with, and you can see here earlier, only currency code was coming but along with this you can see currency text is also coming so from where it is coming it is coming from fury app okay it means our piece of code is working fine okay if you want to debug the same i'll show um, i'll told you the way how we can de how we can debug so in our case, debugging is not working. Uh, I already put a breakpoint here, but I don't know why debugger is not coming here. So sometimes it happens in this uh, Eclipse. So to overcome this, what you need to do, you have to close whole uh, Eclipse and you have to restart the same. Then again, put the debugger here. In, then only you will be able to debug. So I'll do the same. So I'm closing this. And we'll reopen this Eclipse again. OK. So again, I'm opening. So my clips is loading again. So it will take some time. Mm, so now my eclipse opened again. So again, I am putting a breakpoint. And I now try to execute the app uh, refresh the existing app okay press go okay select any data i'm selecting the same three Double to it. Okay, so I'm trying to add it the same record. So as of now, we have USD. I'm replacing USD with the UR and save. So in that case, you are 
uh, text should capture automatically. Okay, as of now, US dollar is coming. So I, so now my debugger got triggered. Okay, press F6. You can see data in uh, result table called LDCA. Just double click. And in a, here you can see, just double click on LDCA. Now you can see the data. So this data we are going to add it, okay? So as of now you can see EUR, but here currency text is US dollar. It should replace with um, European currency instead of US dollar. So this will happen with the help of this code. So I'll show you. So we are looping here and on the basis of a currency code and we have this currency code so you are on the basis of you are we are fetching its text okay so now you can see its text is european currency is captured from where from this table okay so its size of our value is zero and we are modifying the internal table and this internal table in this internal table now you can see just double click on the same and here this is the internal table click double click on the same now you can see Oh, uh, currency text has been modified. Now it is coming European currency. It means it our code is working perfectly. Okay. Now what is the next step? We have to update uh, this internal table. I mean, we have to update this data with our CDS. So how we can do? So to achieve the same, we have to declare an internal table, which has a type, type table for update, and we capture the data, whatever data we capture in this, we are passing here. Then we'll use this statement, modify and it is in local mode. This is very important a statement to update the data within a CDS. So we use the same here, with LT update and its output is coming within this LT report. Okay, this is okay here. LT report reported data. Now, whatever data we received here, we are updating here. So now I'm pressing F8. So, our data is updated successfully, okay, so, uh, so in this video, you learned how we can create a text table for a currency and how we can use the same and how we can uh, insert the data within the same table and how we can capture uh, capture this currency in our app and and in last you see how we can update uh, the CDS data uh, I mean CDS entity using our Fiori app okay so in next video I'll show you how we can update the CDS data directly okay without using a Fiori app. 
okay so if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe our channel and stay tuned for the next video thank you and i appreciate if you like and don't forget to share this video with others stay tuned bye bye thank you see you soon in a new video